Hello, hello. It is a rainy afternoon on a Sunday at like five o'clock and I am just gonna try to get out here for hour, hour and a half, throw some new spinners I've whipped up. I'm trying a new creek right here. I normally fish a lot of predominantly brown trout streams and I do know that this creek can hold some brook trout. So it looks like an awesome section just right at the bridge. The water looks great. It's kind of drizzling right now, which I don't love, but no one else loves it either. So I have the stream to myself, which is pretty cool. Um, right now, I'm going to start out with the kind of overcast conditions. I have this little glow bead on here on this gold uh, brass body with just a little treble hook. And I just rigged up this fishing rod um, with some braided line to a floral leader. And that's kind of new for me. I have been throwing a different rod with all mono. So I'm going to give that a go. Bundle up, put the GoPro on and see if we can't catch some trout lurking right down in there. Before I walk down a little bit, I have to try this nice looking pool. I mean, look at that. Whew. She is a pretty one. Might have to get in the water for this though. Yep, I'm gonna scoot down and then work my way back upstream. All right, let's see if something can't. Oh my God. Are you, are you kidding me? I just freaking broke off by a freaking stud. Stupid. Mm, I tied a four pound floral leader. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. What the heck though? I mean, it must have been a big fish. I'm not freaking happy right now. And guess who doesn't have another spinner with him? This guy. I hope I can find it. Maybe it just like broke off and that fish shook it. So I'll look in that pool and maybe get lucky. Otherwise, I have to go all the way back to the truck just to get another spinner. Well, that was fun. Back to the truck we go. Unbelievable. Well, there's a Driftless Spin donation to this river. And a nice walk back to the truck for me because I'm an idiot. Regrets. So many regrets. In order for that fish to break the line though, like it must have had that entire spinner over the snap swivel in its mouth. There was a giant swirl, stupid tree. There was a giant swirl, solid weight, set the hook, nothing. Completely broke it. Oh. Okay, just, I'm just going to grab my other rod, it's a heavier rod, but it's tied up and I don't know why I'm bleeding either, I don't know what I did to myself. Added a little injury to insult. Back at it. I don't know if I want to walk all the way back to that one pool. I might, maybe I'll hook that same fish. This is my last spinner now. Luckily I really like this one too, so should be okay. This is a really spontaneous outing. I was like, you know what? I'll go for like an hour. 
So I didn't even bring a vest. Didn't bring a net. That's probably foreshadowing for something bad to happen. And I brought two spinners that were both tied up to my rod. One down, one to go. This could be a very quick outing here. <laughs> I'm going back to that spot in hopes I catch that same fish. Get my spinner back. All right, we meet again. There's no way that fish is gonna bite again, but maybe there's some more in there. I walked through this already, that was a mistake. I'm not getting another chance at that fish. I'm bleeding kind of bad. Oh God. Oh, got good fish. Got a good one here. I'm backing up to get out of that hole. Go, let's go. <laughs> let's go, I'm so glad I came back. Nice fish. Oh my gosh, come on buddy. Come on, stay pinned, stay pinned. Oh, what a butterball. Oh, what a thick butterball brown trout. Oh. That is incredible. That is incredible. You don't have my other spinner in there, do you? I don't know if that's the same trout or what, but what a warrior. What an old warrior brown. Oh my goodness, perfect hook set. He was not getting away. I had him pinned good. All right, that's a just absolutely gorgeous brown trout. So thick. Quite a warrior, like it's looked like something almost had him. And there he goes. <sighs> All right. <sighs> well, that turned out to be well worth it. I love this UV orange yarn. I don't know what it is, but it's been. It's been incredible so far this early trout season for me. This one I threw on a little tape there, but probably not fully necessary. And I am still bleeding. That is awesome. Look at bloody thumbs up for that fish. It's like 50 degrees right now, kind of cold. Rinse off the blood and do it again. I was hoping to see that. I, I don't know. There must be another one in there because he didn't have the spinner in his mouth, which means I might get lucky and see that spinner laying on the bottom still. We will see. I truly feel like there could be another fish in there too. Oh, I'm glad I came back. Oh gosh, another fish, another fish. Next cast, and. Oh gosh, I have him hung up. No! That was a brookie. I'm an idiot. I got caught on this. Got caught on that stupid branch. Okay. I knew this was a nice run. That was a brook trout for sure. For sure a brookie. Looks like another brook trout. And this is my first brookie of the year. Nice healthy fish. The last one I missed was a lot nicer though, but can't complain. The driftless brookies around here are not quite the same as what I'm used to in Northern Wisconsin for colors, but Still gorgeous nonetheless. This little run's doing me nice. Let's keep her going. Oh. You can just see right there, nice. Nice little undercut. 
I'm gonna sneak down, get into this stream right here and try to flip it in there. <clears throat> Perfect cast. Oh my gosh! Oh, could not have had a better cast than what I just did there. And I blew it on a nice looking fish. That's where he was. Looked like a brookie too. I'm pumped about the brook trout potential in here already. I've had, well, I've caught two. That other brook trout was pretty much a catch. Just not a land. This is where trout fishing gets pretty squirrely. This is pretty fishy right here. Got a pretty nice brown on here. Fighting hard. <laughs> Just put on a little jumping show for me. Gosh, they are just absolutely butterballs in here. I mean, talk about a fish that's eaten just fine. And brown trout, most people don't probably know this, brown trout spawn in the fall, so that's not eggs. That is just a healthy, beautiful fish. Absolutely incredible. I'm gonna. Get this guy unhooked. Wow. What a stud. Small streams, Driftless, Wisconsin. Catching them on Driftless spins. I need to stop bleeding. All right. Let's do that again. I threw it right up here in this kind of bend. And it thumped it. There's another one. Ah, not as big, but not tiny by any means. Oh my gosh, it's a brook trout. Nice brook trout. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, come here. Remember when I said I wish I brought the net? Yep, right about now is where I'm wishing I had it. Heck yes. <laughs> what a gorgeous brook trout. Absolutely hammered it. They love that. I gotta get a picture of that guy. Wow. What a great outing here. Heck yeah, that's probably a nine, at least an 11 inch brook trout. Well, this is turning out better than I expected. A lot of beaver sign around here. I figured it was a matter of time before I got a dam on the stream. Oh, last year once I came across a beaver dam that was made 100% of corn stalks in the middle of a field, no trees around. They're pretty uh, impressive animals. Growing up in Florence, northern Wisconsin, that was like kind of how we fished brook trout, is specifically on these small streams, try to find the beaver ponds. And it wasn't like this, it, it like created a miniature lake from, from the size of the dam that they would build. And uh, that's how my dad and I would, would really fish those ponds. And, and you'd walk to get to a beaver pond and you might sit there and catch catch 20 to 30 brook trout out of one beaver pond. It's a lot different than around here. They tend to be smaller. I also think the DNR kind of goes and takes care of them and rips the dam apart, which can be somewhat controversial, but if you leave those dams on there too long, what will happen is it slows the stream down and builds up sediment. 
to the point where it's not a healthy trout popula or how trout ecosystem, I guess. Well, the stream seems to have just kind of flattened out, lost some of the improvement. I think there was stream improvement done farther downstream where I was having the most success. So I'm going to head back to the truck, maybe try one more stretch here, but that was, that was a pretty incredible half hour. Oh, and there's barbed wire. Ladies and gentlemen, that is how you rip your waders. So I guess probably need new waders now. Or I got lucky. These things have been durable as can be. But anyways, unless if I stop at some other spot, this will conclude this uh, little outing. So thanks for coming along in the stream with me and seeing a really some really nice browns and a very nice brookie. And of course, the one that got away. That's how it goes with fishing. Let me know if you want any spinners. Happy to hook you up.